David Adamino and I have been friends for almost 25 years. We were theater students at Niagara University together, and uh, we had a lot of fun uh, making uh, silly pictures, holding each other's faces, and then recreating the same picture 20 years later. David and I connected over video games, a retro and modern variety, and we can always reconnect our friendship instantly when we talk about them. Um, I've worked with David uh, in a couple of productions, but most notably when I directed my one act, uh, he played uh, this blustery, overblown father character. Uh, and he was a lot of fun uh, to work with. A little undisciplined at the time, but let's just say since then, I'd say he's learned his lesson on discipline. He's one of the most disciplined actors I know. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch his voice career just bloom since he graduated and since he decided to go voice acting uh, and s stage and screen acting pretty much full time. I promise to only use these godlike powers for good. I won't even kill a single human. Unless you wanted me to? I low-key want to win this game. Leave me alone! So awesome. I could do this if I wanted to. All I wanted was for you to open that damn door. And now I have to carry the guilt of knowing you're dead because of me. The void doesn't just take. It also gives. Uh, and he's doing a hell of a job. And I... When it came to looking for someone to play the lead in Fame the Audiobook, there was no question whatsoever. It had to be him. And I'll discuss why he's such a great fit to play uh, Chris when we do the character spotlight for Chris tomorrow. <laughs>